Colorimetry is prescribing colour to relieve the symptoms of visual stress. This may also be referred to as mears erlen syndrome, Erlen syndrome or scotopic sensitivity syndrome. Visual stress is a condition which results in an inability to see comfortably without distortion or discomfort. It's provoked by exposure to visually disturbing patterns, in particular stripy patterns. For example, most people find ironing a stripy shirt quite aversive, but for some individuals, text gives the same effect, causing perceptual distortions such as blurring, dancing or floating of words, or patterns, colours and shapes appearing within the text. Following a discussion regarding symptoms, we use the pattern glare test. As seen here, it consists of a series of black and white stripes which vary in width and we present them to the patient, recording the severity of symptoms that each one elicits. Most people find the high contrast medium stripes, this one shown here, the most uncomfortable, which correlates with text. In susceptible people, certain patterns strongly stimulate the visual system, causing an overloading of the visual cortex in the brain. This results in the appearance of distortions. 12% of the general population suffer with a degree of visual stress, however 30% of those with dyslexia suffer too, so it's more prevalent in the dyslexic population. It's also experienced by individuals with visually precipitated migraine, photosensitive epilepsy, multiple sclerosis and autism. Colour in the form of acetate sheets to lay over the text or as tinted spectacles filters out the wavelengths of light that cause the overloading of the visual system and relieve symptoms. The colour that's required by the individual to achieve this is specific to that person and it has to be precisely prescribed in both colour and density. After a thorough eye examination to establish any need for a spectacle prescription or eye exercises which may alone relieve symptoms, we carry out an overlay assessment. Coloured acetate sheets are presented over a page of uncomfortable text and responses to the different colours are recorded and through a process of elimination the best colour is determined. The chosen overlay may be a single or double as colours can be combined to give up to 27 different combinations. Reading speed and accuracy is then measured with and without the overlay using the Wilkins rate of reading test and if there is an improvement the overlay is prescribed for a trial period for home and school use. The length of the trial period can vary depending on the age of the individual, but four to six weeks is usually advised. With children, we ask parents and teachers to monitor the child's reading speed and comprehension and also how frequently they use the overlay without being prompted. If visual stress is present, the coloured overlay should improve reading speed, accuracy and understanding of the text and allows individuals to read for longer before becoming tired. Again, it must be remembered that the colour is specific to the individual and the overlay assessment is essentially a screening tool to ascertain whether an individual will benefit from precision tinted glasses. If coloured overlays are beneficial, we would recommend a colorimetry assessment using the intuitive colorimeter. The intuitive colorimeter is the instrument we use to precisely attain the specific colour prescription necessary to alleviate each individual's symptoms of visual stress. The exact colour is used to tint spectacle lenses, spectacles obviously being more convenient to use than overlays, particularly for computer and whiteboard use. Uncomfortable text is viewed under different coloured light sources. The hue, which is the colour, the saturation, which is how dense that colour is, and the brightness can be altered by tiny increments until a precise shade is found which helps the individual by minimising or eliminating their symptoms. The instrument is then used to make repeated measurements and a unique combination of the hue, saturation and brightness is found. This may differ in colour from the overlay previously used. Once a frame is chosen, the precision tinted glasses can be ordered, incorporating an individual's usual spectacle prescription if required. 
If there is a necessity for full-time wear, then we do advise an ultraviolet protective coating. We advise routine eye examinations, however, if the symptoms of visual stress return or new spectacles are required as the frame no longer fits, or if the prescription has changed, then we recommend that the colorimetry assessment is repeated. The required colour can change over time due to adaptation, and with children, we can achieve a more refined result as their responses become more precise with age. The colorimeter and final colour prescription relies on subjective responses from the patient, and this is often a lot to expect of a very young child, so we usually recommend from around eight years old. However, overlays can be prescribed from five or six years of age. Despite attempts by governing bodies to get this recognised, there is currently no NHS funding available for this service and private fees apply. For details regarding these, please see our website or contact our practice team. Information leaflets are also available from the practice. Some high street opticians offer coloured overlay assessments, however very few offer intuitive colorimetry. Our optometrists belong to the Society for Coloured Lens Prescribers members of which have to have the appropriate training, expertise and equipment to ensure that the public receive the highest level of care. We have found that prescribing precision tinted spectacles is a most rewarding area of optometry as it can make a remarkable difference to an individual's education and we're proud to have such positive feedback. Before my glasses, print was blurred and closed together. The white background made it flash. Since using my tinted glasses, the print is bold. The green tint makes it not bright and it spreads out the letters. The words are clearer and when I read, the words don't move. I feel I can read more fluently and enjoy reading more.